Now in the first video tutorial I was looking at just creating a general map, adding links, brainstorming new ideas down and sent to Word documents so you get that linear output. So working between visual and outline. Today we're not going to look at diagram, I want to go to the other option map view for you, see if this works better for you. Now you can see as soon as we start everything's colour coded and got structure straight away for you. As I said, diagram gives you more flexibility but map view gives you this more color coded, more organized way of adding information. So let's pop something in there. Right, let's pop zoological. I don't know if that's a word, is it? Is it a word? Anyway, I'll go with that anyway. So you've got your main idea. Come to the top. Now, when you click on the here, you can choose where you're going to create your ideas from. Now remember, when you're working with this, unlike the diagram view, you have to be careful in how you sync information. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to type lion and I'm going to type leopard. Two more cheetah. I can't think of any more. I'll put jungle cat in. I mean, I can't really put a tiger in because that's from Asia and I'm kind of stuck with Africa in this demonstration. But that's perfect, that will do. So you've got a map here you're starting to build on. So I'm going to click on here a little plus option so we can break that down. Before I do, I just want to come to the left, just a little palette and just pop in one image of a line. So with line highlighted, I'm going to select the line. Now I want to start working information on a line, so I tap the little plus and I can start breaking it down. So I might want to talk about Maybe the pride, click plus again. Move the line this. Get the idea with that. Remember, you can still drag them, hold the left button where you want them into position, as so. Now, I'm going to come up to the left hand corner to have a look at outline view. Now, it's all looking good at the moment. Look, line, pride, it's all in order. So, if I go back to map, I'm looking, I'm going to go, I need actually, I'm going to pull pride down, click the plus button, and I need to put that up above pride because I want to talk about first so now I've got line feeding pride lioness top left I always check out line so I've got pride lioness feeding you can see how it's not in order now in this option I've got a sync button to sync the map with a linear format so always do this if you prefer to work in map view so click on feeding hold the left button drag that up where you want it so that's better. So you've got to change the order within this outline view. Because when we send it to Word, PowerPoint, wherever you want it to go, it has to be in order. It's got feeding pride and lioness. Feeding pride and lioness. So just remember that when using map view. Just go in and manually sync it. In diagram mode, you don't need to click a button. Then again, we can add our notes up here. And then you can start building up your information regarding that subject. So pull that over there a bit, if you wish. And then close little note. And again, you can see how it attaches here. Open it up, you can access it anytime you want. And by the way, if you're not happy with the colour, come down the bottom here, it's currently in orange, and you can change that colour as well as you want. And also in the middle, you can have more than four options. So if I tap so logical, if you tap this option here, you'll see the plus buttons here, and you can add multiple more options if you wish as well. But again, if you watch my first video on diagram, all the settings are identical, except the visual view is different, and you've got to watch out for the sync option as well.